Over the years, we have managed to get answers to most of our questions about the planet we live on, thanks to the many archaeological finds we have had. But archaeology has not always been so clear-cut, as some of the discoveries have caused much controversy as to their reality and how they were found. Join us as we explore some of the most controversial archaeological finds and why these discoveries sparked conversations among people. Child Buddha In 2018, filmmakers Leon Deschamps and Shane Thompson were looking for material for a documentary about the French exploration of Australia. They used metal detectors in Shark Bay, Western Australia, and found a rare Ming Dynasty Buddha specifically a small baby Buddha statue. This startling revelation sparked controversy. Some thought it was fake, while others wondered how a Ming Dynasty statue ended up in Australia. Experts determined its authenticity after a while, but the unknown of its origin persisted. The six-inch tall, two-pound bronze statue, supposedly from hundreds of years ago in China, sparked speculation about its presence in Australia. It is believed that Ming Dynasty explorers brought it back during the period between 1368 and 1644 AD, and that it was buried some 150 years before its discovery. However, there are skeptical opinions. Although ships made expeditions in Southeast Asia, there is no evidence that they reached Australia before European explorers in the 17th century. Theories differ. Some believe the statue was abandoned by Chinese pearlists or fishermen in the 1870s as part of a hoax. The uncertainty about the true origin of the Buddha could only be resolved by excavating the site. Pharaoh's Medallion This find is about Pharaoh Akhenaten, an ancient and famous ruler. Akhenaten is known for his peculiar appearance that resembles that of a woman, which is unusual for a male leader. He was the father of Tutankhamun and the husband of Nefertiti, a controversial queen. His medallion is the most discussed. It shows some sort of real ship or flying saucer-like disc, with an alien-like head on top. This has led to debates about whether aliens were related to ancient Egypt. However, the medallion only exists in photos, and we cannot be sure what it actually meant to the Egyptians. Animal Evolution Besides thinking about how the first human being appeared, have you wondered how animals evolved? Life has existed on Earth for about 4.5 billion years, but for a long time there were only bacteria. Information about the evolution of animals is mostly obtained from fossils, such as shells and bones. Although we know of hard fossils dating back more than 500 million years, there is an earlier period when animals were soft, and didn't leave many fossil footprints. Sponges are thought to be the most basic animals on the evolutionary tree, and therefore possibly the first to appear. Although they do not look like animals sponges are, they feed by absorbing water with organic matter and using oxygen. Although we think sponges existed hundreds of millions of years ago, there aren't many fossils from that period. This is because sponges do not have hard parts like shells or bones, making it difficult to find evidence of their existence in ancient rocks. If we confirm that sponges lived in those times, that would mean that animals existed much earlier than we thought. The Gate of the Gods In 1996, a tour guide named Jose Luis Delgado Mamani found an unusual door near Lake Titicaca in South America. It is called Aramumura or Gate of the Gods and has caused controversy due to its origin and purpose. For more than 4,000 years, the area around the lake and mountains was inhabited by indigenous communities, including the Incas led by Pachacuti Inca Yupanqui. The Incas saw the lake as the beginning of the world and a place for spirits after death. Measuring 7 meters high and wide, with a small gate in the middle, the Aramumur structure is considered a place of pilgrimage and worship with special powers. Although it is not known where it came from, it is believed that it existed before the Incas and that Native American communities have stories about it. It is said that it is a portal to travel to other worlds and that the gods used it. Those who knocked on the door say they feel peace. 
Although it is older than the Incas, its name comes from an Inca legend in which a priest named Aramumuru escaped from the Spanish with a golden disc called the Key of the Gods, of the Seven Rays, which he placed on the stone gate, and disappeared through it. The Incas fell to the Spanish due to invasions, disease, and loss of resources, leading to the end of their empire in 1592. Tomb of Jesus even if you are not a Christian, you have probably heard of the death and resurrection of Jesus. The oldest stories of his burial are found in the canonical Gospels, the first four books of the New Testament, written a few decades after Jesus' crucifixion in AD 30. Although the details vary in the four books, they all tell how Jesus was entombed in a rock-hewn tomb owned by Joseph of Arimathea, a wealthy Jewish follower. Archaeologists have found more than a thousand similar rock-hewn tombs in and around Jerusalem. Each used to have burial chambers with long niches in the sides for individual bodies. One of the most notable discoveries was the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which is believed to mark the original location of Jesus' tomb. Although religious texts indicate that Jesus was buried outside of Jerusalem, near Golgotha where he was crucified, Jewish tradition did not allow burial within the city walls. Later, the walls were expanded to include Golgotha and the tomb, making it difficult to determine the exact place of his burial. Archaeologists in Jerusalem, however, maintain that there is no evidence to rule out the authenticity of the site. The Antikythera Mechanism in 1900, Greek divers from Simi were looking for sponges when a strong storm washed them up near the island of Antikythera. There they found a shipwreck filled with Greek treasures, the most important ancient shipwreck find to date. One of the treasures was the Antikythera Mechanism, a dictionary-sized object with precise bronze gears. Initially overlooked due to other exciting discoveries, its sophisticated coin-sized gears were later noticed. This was surprising since the ancient Greeks were not believed to have used such advanced gears. The mechanism rewrites what we know about its technology. It used to be thought that the Greeks only used gears in rudimentary mills. This simple yet impressive mechanism is unique. Although there is a Byzantine calendar from AD 600, advanced astronomical clocks emerged in the 14th century. The Antikythera mechanism with gears precise to a millimeter, is different. However, why wasn't there such a thing before? Experts believe that, being made of valuable bronze, it would be melted down for reuse if it stopped working. If it weren't for the shipwreck, it would have disappeared. The lost city of the monkey god. Archaeologists had been hearing rumors of a city in the jungle of Honduras for years sometimes referring to it as the White City and other times as the Lost City of the Monkey God. In 2015, the city went from being a myth to a reality. Legend has it that the city was founded by indigenous people fleeing the relentless conquest and slaughter brought by the Spanish conquistadors. Expeditions in the early 20th century only found hearsay and it wasn't until 2010 that a new technology called LIDAR, light detection and ranging, arrived on the scene and progress began to be made. The scan revealed a sprawling city hidden in the jungle, and archaeologists finally made their way through the trees to find the abandoned ancient city in 2015. According to National Geographic, what they discovered was astounding, perfectly preserved and intact stone structures, pyramids, carvings, pots and vases, thrones and tables. Ecological research has been slow, but the site has yielded some other results. This untouched paradise has been found to be home to a host of endangered plants, birds, insects and reptiles and has been described by Conservation International as a haven for threatened species. Oh, and Douglas Preston was part of the first expedition to discover something else. A flesh-eating disease that causes a person's nose and lips to rot first, and yes, all the explorers returned home with it. So perhaps best to leave this exploration in the hands of the professionals. Nana City Nanmadal is a stunningly beautiful city. Therefore it is not surprising that according to Atlas Obscura, 
Lovecraft's vision of Relia is inspired by Nan Maddell. It is also lauded by the Smithsonian, who calls it an engineering marvel and the only thing left of the Sajulas, who were equally religious and cruel and left behind a city of stones still believed to be home to many ghosts. Creepy, yes, but archaeologists discovered something unexpected inside the ruins in 2016. The key to unlocking the mystery of how humanity evolved from simple to more complex societies, according to Science Daily. Uranium series dating allowed researchers to pinpoint the construction date of an ancient chief's tomb to between 1180 and 1200. The size of the tomb is also significant, as historians say because they have discovered what equates to, to a recent evolution from a simple to a complex society ruled by a single chief on a series of islands and tribes, they still have access to something else, oral history. And why is this significant? It gives archaeologists hope that they will be able to identify the event that led the Nan Madal society to reorganize itself into a society ruled by a chief who wields shocking amounts of power, and that this will help understand how societies have evolved over time. Time, the lost gold of the Incas. The story of the gold of the Incas begins in the 16th century when Spanish explorer and generally bad guy Francisco Pizarro demanded a ransom. If the Incas brought him a room full of gold, he would free King Atahualpa. Luckily, the Incas began to collect the ransom, but unfortunately, Pizarro was impatient and had him executed. According to National Geographic, this is where the story gets murky. The ransom was said to be hidden in a secret cave somewhere, but there is evidence that it has been discovered multiple times. The first was about 50 years later when a Spaniard named Valverde obtained money by saying that his Inca wife's family had shown him where the treasure was. He left instructions on how to find it. The guidebook and map disappeared until the 1850s, but it wasn't until 1886 that a treasure hunter named Bath Blake investigated and reported finding the treasure. He described life-size figures of humans, birds, and animals made of gold and jewels, gold vases filled with emeralds, and the most beautiful works of gold work one could imagine. Blake took what he could carry and left, intending to return. However, he disappeared on his way back to New York and all attempts to locate him have failed. Where did it go, and will someone else be able to find the gold? 